going to, uh, with your permission, 142 with ASM. Okay, you have a go. Shuttle Weather Officer Kathy Winters is briefing Launch Director Mike Leinbach. While on the, uh, in the white room, we're preparing to close the crew access hatch in just a couple of minutes. And no work now to uh, seal the hatch will be performed, leading to a final closeout of the white room. At T-minus one hour, 16 minutes, 18 seconds and counting, this is shuttle launch control. This is shuttle launch control at T minus 40 minutes and counting. White room crew is now preparing to leave the white room. And ETL, you ready for step eagle five to CDR? And ETL ready. The closeout crew now leaving the pad, going down the pad ramp. Okay, your throttle bucket updates. T minus 20 minutes and 25 seconds and counting, preparing to go into the 10 minute hold at uh, T minus 20. Coming out in 10 seconds. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one, T minus 20 minutes and counting. Pilot is in the process of performing the main propulsion system helium system configuration as we heard. This opens the helium isolation valves necessary for in-flight purges of the engines and provides an emergency source of pressure for a pneumatic shutdown of the engines. Copy and work. Going to the hold now in three, two, one, T minus nine minutes in holding. This hold is 41 minutes, 38 seconds in duration. Hold is 41.39 based on window open. And peak 15. The breakdown is four, peak six head, nine, peak 14 from the right. TTC is go. LPS. LPS go. Houston flight. Houston flight is go. Mila. And Mila's go for launch. STM. STM is go. Safety console. Safety go. SPE. SPE is go. LRD. LRD is go. SRO. SRO is go. You have range clear to launch. And CDR. CDR is go. Countdown clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one. T minus nine minutes and counting. Ground launch sequencer now controlling. Atlantis OTC. It's been a long road with a lot of detours, but your patience is about to be rewarded. It's time to fly. Thanks, OTC. We're ready. Also at T-minus five minutes, the firing chain will be activated and the uh, rain safety systems on the vehicle will be activated. And the pilot will start the uh, orbiter's auxiliary power units. T-minus four minutes, four minutes to launch. Prepared sequence four. 
T minus three minutes, three minutes to launch. ELTOCC, clear caution, warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. OTC, caution and warning memory are clear, no unexpected errors. Copy. Atlantis, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. T minus two minutes, two minutes to launch. Yeah, go for ET LH2 pressurization. One minute, 30 seconds. E minus one minute and counting. Standing by for the handoff from the firing room computer to the Atlantis ground launch uh, or uh, onboard computers, ground launch sequencer to the onboard uh, flight computers. And the handoff has occurred. Atlantis's computer is now controlling. 25. 20. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. 10. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Three main engines up and burning. Two. One, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. Roger, whoa, Atlantis. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is underway. Atlantis is heading into a heads-down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. Engines now at 72 percent beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. All three liquid-fueled engines are back at full throttle. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully-fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. Solid. Solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant every second. Coming up on uh, 1 minute 45 seconds, standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles downrange. All three engines are still performing as expected. SRB separation and staging confirmed.